Hey everybody, it's Chris from Tipton and Hearst, and today's happy is we're going to work on two wedding bouquets because we have two different weddings going on. And so one, they're both pretty much the same style. They're going to be very garden clutch style. One is a little bit more heavier citrus colors. We're going to even to like a little bit of a bubblegum pink, a little bit of lime, and of course a little bit of peach. So I always call this just light citrus. The other one's going to be strictly bashful and blush. Lots of blush, peonies, and I'll show you that one in a second too as we get started. So, first trick we want to always do is we always want to clean all of our stems, which Miss Day's already cleaned most of these for me already. But I wanted to show you a trick about this. So, this. Oh, I didn't even clean that enough. Well, you gotta do a lot more. Clean more. So, we're gonna take see. these, and these are called Brunia. Brunia balls. And so, what I'm doing, actually, if you have big mirrors, what you can do is take these little tips off and save those for later. Because if you were to put this in a bouquet, the only part that's gonna show up is that. So there's no need to have all this here. This makes it too bulky. So we're taking all that off. Everybody's saying happy Friday. We hope y'all had fun seeing us twice on Wednesday. It's not Friday the 13th either, which is even better. That's right. I think we're already gonna do better this weekend. <laughs> So let's get started. So we're gonna have pink ranunculus. We're gonna have white Louisianas. We're gonna have two lime green hydrangea. We have different shades of peonies. We have white, we have a, kind of a blush pink, and then we have a, what we call bubblegum pink. And then we're actually gonna use Juliet roses there. A little bit of parvofolia. So, there, so let's get started. So we're always going to start out basically with two of our hydrangea. I'm going to crisscross those in my hand. And I'm going to put a little bit of our parvofolia there. So how is everybody out there doing? We have a little bit of, we have a lot of people from a little bit of all over. However you say that, man, that sounds crazy. We have Alabama, Missouri, Louisiana, New Jersey. Cool. Um, Nashville, Nevada, Wisconsin, cool. Dirks, Arkansas, Tennessee, North Carolina, Oklahoma, well, Nebraska, Australia, UK, oh, Hattiesburg. A lot of people are saying Common Soul was great. Oh, good. So somebody asked, where can they view a list of what's on Comet Soul? So what you would want to do is you can scroll down to where right below this one, there's going to still be the, post, the video post of our comments sold, and you just actually start into it. But they won't be able to see a list of all of them. Oh, until you check out. Or you can go to comments sold, no, tiptonhearse.commentsold.com, and there is a list of everything that was on there. So you kind of shop like you're looking at clothes online. Oh, yeah. You can do it, it that way, too. Down, and it even scrolls things that weren't at the, one of the sales we saw available, too. Right. Um, we've I found out on Thursday, yesterday, we had something enabled that really needed to be disabled for y'all to be able to see all the products listed. So that got changed, and so you should be good to shop. <laughs> Miss Beverly said she caught us for the first time live in a while. Well, good. Canada, yeah, Ontario, good. Louisiana, North Carolina, England, right Kentucky, over. all over we are. Another thing, I don't know what happened. Yeah, Wednesday. Wednesday's happy. It was so strange when we posted the video, it kind of like quit kicking. Mr. Chris, I think your microphone being against your chest. See, look at it. Uh oh. Hang on. I'm sorry, guys. Give me hold it. I got it. Sorry. Oh. My bad. I'm probably making lots of noise right now. Uh, sorry. Okay, Is sorry. They were saying they thought you were in a barrel. I feel like I'm in a barrel some days. Or in a ditch. <laughs> I don't know what we think we're in right now. Drunk in a ditch is always a lost in a ditch. So there's that one. I'm going to crisscross that one over to here. So that's where we are so far. So now we're going to go back and layer on what I call the accents. We always want to make sure that these little fellows show up pretty well because if you talk them in too deep, no one's going to see them. But by taking all that off, and you can actually make sure that they show up. 
I see. I need to go back and fix those bridesmaids because I didn't. I wasn't cutting them that short. That's all right. I'll fix it before we do it. Now, does she want this one to be more oval or round? Or round? Um, I think she kind of liked more round. It was kind of oval, not horizontal. It was more oval. Yeah, it looked a little oval in the picture. Yes, sir. So there's that. Do y'all have a lot of together. fun plans for the weekend? Miss and I, Mr. Chris and I have super fun <laughs> plans. Bet y'all can't guess them. We're like Groundhog Day. <laughs> <laughs> God. Groundhog. Groundhog Day. Somebody said your mic still doesn't sound like it's working as well. Is it? So like higher? Mm, it looks perfect right there. I'm yeah. not sure. Can anybody else hear me? I'm sorry. We lost a... Mr. Chris lost a little um, part cover that keeps thing. his... Yeah, the little cover thing. And so... Yeah. We might need to do something. So somebody said, what are those long, fingery-looking things? Brunelia. Um, these? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So how many weddings this weekend? I think we got a slow week, only two. Only two. And then we have two parties and one graduation. A couple other things going on, but thank for what we have. Miss Peggy said she has been doing flowers since 1987. She loves getting ideas and new techniques from you. She's doing a wedding on June 4th for her daughter's fellow teacher friend in Michigan. Thank you so much for sharing your gift. Oh, thank you for watching and being a part of it. All share here and we always learn from each other so miss alice said of course miss alice from alabama if something did not come up on her comment sold ticket does it mean that it'll be charged when it's restocked yes ma'am if it's something we're able to get in stock we've been so busy with events we really haven't been able to look but once at the wait list items so yeah. we'll we'll check I on that. that oh everybody says you're all good now all good I'm just crisscrossing because I want this a little pop of what she calls bubblegum pink. Thing. Yes, she wants bubblegum pink. She wants shades of ivory, pink, and peach. peach. Well, I think we're getting pretty close now. Aren't we? I think so. And then it's like a collar of parlophobia, right? In the picture with right. The kind of that looks beautiful. But. No matter what we think, it's that's all right. About the bride, so. It's all about what Rachel thinks. Yeah, that's right. So I'm going to go ahead and take this off. And what we tend to do, now that we finish that, we will be sending pictures to the bride to get approval. And once that's done, then we'll do the finish out. Meaning we'll really call the rest of this and we'll um, then go back and actually put a ribbon over the mechanics. Cover it up. So we have some people saying the microphone's not very good. And then some that say they are, but Janae just texted me and said, you're muffled. Huh? So I'm muffling. you're muffling. Um, so do you want me to see, can, can I see the little battery pack? Maybe it got disconnected or we could just take them off. Well, no, it looks right. It's like got one bar though. No, no. Maybe it's worn out again. So anyway, with the pipes in the background, y'all. Hope you like it. There you, there you go. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and cut these down. Should I take the microphones off and just do through your voice today? Sure. So now we're just going to go and do it live like we used to. A long no time mics. Ago, and hopefully y'all can hear me better. And I'm going to try to project my voice like I used to have to with red mites. So let's put that one off to the side. Our next one's going to be all shades of blush. So we're going to use white ranunculus again. Ranunculus are our big go-to flower right now for wedding work. Then we've got white peonies. We've got white hydrangea. We have quicksand roses. 
I think it's four and four. Four and four. Oh, there it is over there. Four quicksands. We have, then we have our, one of our other favorites is white O'Hara roses. There's that. We have two Julias. We also have white stock, which this is the best smelling stock I've ever smelled in my whole life. So I have to tell you, when I went and sat down, set up for the party today, yeah. you know, it's in the pavilion, but they, They've um, closed in the pavilion. Yeah. Even the girl said, oh, the smell is amazing. And I mean, the smell of stock was like almost overwhelming. It smelled so no, nice. It, it, it's, this is amazing stock. Wish y'all had smell vision today. That's right. So I'm going to go ahead and cut down my green fit. It's going to be part of our collar. And they also wanted ruscus. So how would we use ruscus instead of... Taking all that off, I'm actually going to make it into two cuts. So I'm, I'm going to save this part later for boutonnieres, of course. And we'll use this as a runner. Or not a runner, but part of a collar. So we don't waste anything that we can keep from it. So this bride liked um, her portrait bouquet, but she wanted it to be a little more... Blush. Ivory. Ivory, okay. Blush. That's why we, uh, no, I think it was ivory. Ivory. Okay. Well, we're going to figure out one way or the other. That's right. There's that. So let's get started with this one. So let's do our two hydrangeas again. We're going to crisscross those. We're going to take this one piece of green fit there. We're going to another piece of fit there. Talk louder. I'm going to take, now I'm going to go back into our stock. Now this one was totally round, wasn't it? It was our traditional round clutch. Yes, sir. Like that. I'm putting that into here. Like that. You know what? Let's go ahead and make another one or two. Well, we got three. One, two. Three, and you go back and so I've taken these three pieces into here. One, two, three. I made a triangle. Now we're going to take the runner part and take those in between where we had the squattier pieces. Very technical term, squattier, squattier pieces. So there's that. Okay. So now let's go back and take our Juliettes. We're going to actually block those right in there. I meant to show you her portrait bouquet before you started, but I forgot. Okay. It'll be beautiful. Okay. There. There. So there's that. So now let's go back and start blocking in more of our blush. This bride is really sweet. I went to the venue last night where this is going to be for another event. She said, is Eva not just the sweetest bride? We love all of our brides. So I'm sure she'll love it. We hope so. You know, for most brides, the two things that they focus on more than anything else is their dress and their bouquet. That's right. Miss Joy said she'd like to see you make boutonnieres. Well, this today would be interesting because <laughs> one of these is all magnetic boutonnieres. And our boutonniere person is not here today, so you might get to see that later on in the day. Oops, you dropped a piece. It's about to fall out the bottom. Okay. So now let's go back and spot our reductuals in. That. Another one right in here. We got two more left. Those are really pretty ranunculus today. To hold your mouth just right Do we there. ever have a bridezilla? Oh, uh, no. We try not to have a bridezilla. 
you know, weddings are stressful, guys. Everyone knows that. So you just have to kind of go just whatever it takes to make everybody happy, right? That's right. Somebody asked, do we ever do cascading bouquets? It's we do all kinds of bouquets. It's just these are actually the three that the brides chose for this weekend. You know, I put that thicker tape on top of that thin one thinking you were going to use the... <laughs> I like the thin one. Because I know you do. The, well, like, that ranunculus just bobs. That or just jumped right out of there. Sorry. It can't jump. we got to keep it. Uh, no, it's keeping the So, I know. The reason why I like the thinner is because if I start to make a line, then there's less tension to make it go straight. I can still angle things out. That makes sense. Kind of, sort of. Of course, they said not, Mr. Chris would really, uh, never say that a bride is a bridezilla. Never. Truthfully, our brides really are so sweet. I mean, we rarely have bridezillas. Well, there's always more than one way to skin a cat. That's so right. We're going to do it to get it right. So there's that. What do you think? Good? Beautiful. I cut the stems a little too short for her, too. Sorry about that. Good. All good. I got one short stem here. Make sure you have lots of water in the base. Okay. we're done for today. We will see y'all Monday. Y'all have a safe and blessed one. For those that still have things in your cart, you have until tomorrow night at midnight to, to um, check out. If you didn't get to watch us, go back and watch it. It was a lot going on. We had 180 items last Wednesday night, so you might have to watch it once or twice to see what all we had. So anyway, we'll see you Monday. Thanks for being here. Y'all have a safe one.